Hi again, um, this is Shanika again from Colwell Putri. Um, this is Chromati Hobitec 40 again uh, with the plug in fill. And I'm just going to take a little video of, of everything. Right. As you can see, the lid is in perfect condition. Just push this hinge. It's a floating lid, that means it will be moving. It's, um, it's, it's designed that way to uh, accommodate for heating and cooling. Okay, so that's not a problem at all. This is the Kiln Engineer Certificate. And the controller here. There we are. S thermocouple. Do not plug this controller into anything else at all, please. Any other controller at all. Because this is not compatible with any other controller. You will have to completely configure it. Which you and I aren't com comfortable with. So... Uh, it just need to be done by a professional who, who knows what they are doing. My engineer has already done so. As you can see, a brand new control cable, new control uh, plug, and a brand new controller, Stafford. This is the top of the range controller. Here are the instruction manuals and configuration manuals as well if you needed it. But I was told not to give this because people often seem to mess with it and then uh, often break it but uh, please don't mess with the control it's all already configured you don't need to do anything just plug it in and fire your work when you first plug this kiln in please make sure you uh, season these elements as you can see they are brand new you must season these element to elements to 1100 degrees celsius i will um, right i don't want the It's running away. Right, I'm going to shut the kiln. Now. This light doesn't seem to be fitting properly. It doesn't really matter. This will need to be plugged into a 13 amps socket. You must do that. Do not plug it into an extension or something. and plug the controller cables in now you need to match where these slots go usually like this that's it and then oh my thumbnail is broken so i can't you need to push it right in and make sure it is that's it. Make sure it is, it can be pulled out. Okay. As you just heard, it was a beep. And to program this controller, put the, press the step button, program 9, 8. It, as you go down, there are 9 programs. So I will use the first one. If you press a step, a step, this is delay. If you would like to delay, you can go up. This is hours, this is minutes. You can go down. I'm going to skip that. So step again 100 degrees it is going up first ramp step again till 600 a step again that means soak would you like to soak i'm going to skip that you can do that going up either or going down for none a step again and that's going 150 degrees per hour second ramp a step again thousand degrees you can go up up or down you can increase or decrease step again soaking at that temperature again you can put a soak 10 minutes soak or you can do none for biscuit temperature i don't usually do soaking which is not really you don't really need soaking for that um, and then if you press a step button again that's end and that's end of it and then you start the start the kiln and please do not do anything after that when you see that um, end button because if you did that you will be taken to uh, program number I, I mean sorry uh, you will be taken to uh, segment number three four five like that because there are a lot of segments in this kiln and uh, control in fact and you will be easily confused and you will mess up the whole thing so please only do this right i will go through again a step 100 degrees that's the first ramp 
a step again 600 degrees that's the top temperature of the first ramp a step again four zeros as in soaking we don't want soak for uh, biscuit temperature a step again 150 now you can see second that's second ramp that's because it's going 150 degrees till uh, 1000 degrees that is the 1000 degrees top temperature of second ramp and a step button again you will see four zeros or you would like uh, you would like to soak it i don't really soak at that temperature so you say four zeros leave it as it is or you can do this go up or go down to increase or decrease and step again end and then you press this button to start okay and to stop it you can press that button too and that the, that will stop the controller uh, going any higher okay i hope i hope that that was clear if you um, i i have lots of youtube videos on these how to use this controller so please also see that and um, i just wanted to show you the the kiln and the controller really and if you have any problem with the controller touch touch wood somewhere we never had any any problems at all with these controllers these are top of the range controllers with nine programs nine segments and so on so please look after your controllers once you have sighted your kiln please make sure you mount it there are um, holes here mounting holes and a bracket this will come off and you can slot it in oh dear and um, leave it on the wall mounted and not on the top of the kiln please it will melt onto the kiln so that's all really and the instruction manual is there so you can see i hope that was helpful thank you very much indeed bye